Are you still trying to find that perfect medium for your photo transfers? This isn't it. Neither is a few of the other name brands. I found the foolproof one and I'll show you how to use it. You can't make any mistakes with this. Items that you're going to need for this project. A couple of soft bristle brushes, a few paper towels, photograph that you're going to use. It needs to be printed on a laser jet printer. Ink jet printers, the colors will bleed and it doesn't work as well. This is my go-to for photo transfers forever. Rust-Oleum's photo transfer liquid. And when you pick up the bottle, it's gonna feel really runny. Like, joy, how the hell is this gonna work? Trust me, you're gonna love it. I'm going to be putting a photograph on this big old Crown Royal bottle. Not gonna be decorating it. That's the next video. This is just to show you how to do a photo transfer. Your scissors. Once you have your photograph printed, you're gonna cut it out to the size that's gonna fit on your project. Now, size it up. Also, have a piece of saran wrap. I use it because it works. Some people might not like it, but it works for me. The reason you're gonna have two brushes is one, to smooth it on there, and two, with the dry brush, on top of the cellophane to make sure that all the bubbles are out. Also, you might want to have a little extra cup in case you have too much on there because you don't want to have it around your edges. And if you do, just use the paper towel. So what we'll do is we're going to put some in the cup. Looks really runny, but trust me, when you see this, it's you're going to love it. Let's see which brush. We'll use this one. Okay. You want to put a decent amount, but not too much. How did we have that one there? Pretty much the whole thing, except for the very top. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're going to have some put on there anyway. nice smooth layer not real thick but not too thin that it's not going to absorb the ink hope you can see this you're going to turn your foot all around and position it exactly where you want it. You're not going to have a lot of wiggle room to move it around. So try and get it right the first time. Okay. Place the cellophane on top. And starting from the middle, I'm just going to work this down. Actually, I can use my fingers a little bit too to start. Make sure it's in place. This isn't a napkin, it's paper, so it's okay to use your hands as well. So now we're going to let this dry. Now that the paper is completely dry, it only took a few hours. I put it in front of the vent, let the air dry it. You're going to get a small thing of water and another soft brush, doesn't matter really which one you use. And we're going to completely wet the entire paper.
and it'll take a little bit to get the paper to soak in and what you'll see as it does it's going to start showing the photo and the paper pulp when it's completely wet will start to fray off and you can do it very gently with a brush or your fingers if you do use your fingers very light pressure and one thing I forgot to mention if you happen to transfer anything with letters always before you print mirror your photo so that the words are backwards and when you put it on your wood glass whatever you're going to use you'll be able to read it I made that mistake a couple of times being in a rush it's kind of funny but not just be sure to mirror if it has letters or words yeah. don't try to remove the paper pulp until the entire thing is soaking wet so I'm going to give this a few minutes So this looks nice and soaked. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to start to remove it with the brush. I'll start just like that. Let me zoom that in a little bit for you. And you'll see that paper pulp starting to come off and if you think you need to add water don't be afraid to do that I want to add a little bit of my finger and you can also rub it with your finger too if you'd like just not too hard Okay, I'm gonna rub a little bit more off and I'm gonna let it dry and we will see what pulp is left. Okay, I'm gonna give this a rest and let it dry and then I'll continue with this second round. I let this dry for a little while and you can see all the paper pulp that's left on here so now second phase is we're going to re-wet it and do it again and I think this time should be the charm but if not no rush and when you're done and all the paper pulp is off you can varnish it with anything that you like or you can Mod Podge it with a gloss Mod Podge anything will do to seal it and if you have like tiny little bits left on there, I would leave it, not risk rubbing it off too hard because once you varnish it, it's going to come out completely shiny and beautiful. And to get the Rust-Oleum photo transfer, I will have the link below and hopefully I can find a discount code. And when I'm finished, I'm going to varnish it and it's just going to look gorgeous. And you can decorate your bottle or your boy piece with some embellishments around it or anything you'd like to do.